Divine Feminine. Hello. How are you today? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. We're doing a reading for y'all. It's been a minute. Or at least I think it's been a minute. I don't know. I honestly lost track of what the hell I was doing anymore. So. But that's okay. It's just one of those beautifully long and extravagant times, right? So we're going to do a reading for y'all. We're going to see how y'all are doing. I was watching the Ghetto Nun today. I love her. I think she's actually the person who got me into um, doing the divine readings to begin with. Because, like, when I first started watching her, he's just like, oh, that sounds like me. Oh, that sounds like that motherfucker I was fucking with a while ago, too. Fuck him. I don't want to hear <laughs> You know, just one of those things, right? You know, don't uh, dare copy her, because that's not what I'm trying to do. Because I'm trying to do something for separate ones or whatever, but it's just kind of like, you know. Her reading, I was watching hers today, and it was just like, mmm. Yeah. Fuck that, you know. But I don't know. Like, something's going on. Like, me and my husband actually got in a fight the other day, and we rarely ever fight. And it was just kind of like... You know, it was weird because it was just like, why is he acting like this? And why am I so agitated? And then I watched her video. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go find her video. I'm going to link it in the description below. That way you guys can watch one too because she is beautiful. She's twice as funny as I am. If I were gay, I would, you know, that kind of thing, right? But I'm letting my she-ho come out. So we got to stop doing that. It's not proper to be a creeper after all. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you know, she's a very pretty lady. And she's twice as funny as I am. And plus, I think she could break me in half with an axe. And I really just don't want to go. I, I, please don't hurt me, um, Cockfrost. I promise, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> All right, Divine Feminine. Ooh, we got King Cups. That just popped out without me even trying to shuffle again. Like, that was kind of weird. Uh... You're getting your blessings. You're connecting yourself with what the fuck's going on around you through your cup, and you're getting shit for it, right? With motherfuckers sitting back there. Now, you got some shit that you're trying to get over, right? Um, but everybody, but at the same time, is just like, swing away, Meryl. I don't give a fuck if they're aliens. And like, don't hit the glass at the goddamn alien. Dip the bat in the water and start beating it to death. Like, that's what I feel like. Like, you're trying to get over your problems and your shit. You're trying to get good. You still might be suffering with some shit. And motherfuckers are still like, you know, whatever. Um, you're still, yeah, you're still like... You're trying to get over this shit. And it's still playing in your head. Like, he's projecting light out, but then there's this thing in the background. It's just like, oh, yeah, this motherfucker did that to me. I'm going to fuck him up and the next time I see him. I swear to God, you know. You're kind of in that vibe where, like, you just want to fight everybody. You feel like something didn't begin right or something isn't starting. And you're, you got to kind of restrict yourself in order to look good. You know. This is, yeah, so this is like uh, somewhat what like Cockfrost was talking about too. Let's see, what's your vibration? Looking for a reason to stick around? Waiting for a love proposal? I'm not sure if that's you or the people you're dealing with. I think that's you. I think you're looking for reasons to stick around these people. But, you know, it's uh, you're trying to get out of some bad headspace, too. But you're agitated. And you want to fight people. Um, not even, like, decent fight. You just want to take a fucking sock and beat them in the face with a pile of soap or whatever. Just be like, you know what? That's fine. I don't mind going this route if you don't either. Tina! Bring me the axe! You know, like, you're just ready to be ass a little bit, so... Mm. That's not good. Fine feminines. Let's see. Got my vice versa. Let's see what it says right now, because, like, yeah, this is almost matched up with, like, Cockfrost uh, reading with y'all. And, uh, you know, I don't really remember when I do my readings either, because, like, I have the memory of goldfish. So I'm going to make it Thursday now, so there. Hopefully that'll... S hopefully I won't forget that. 
but I doubt it. Anyway. I feel like you're really trying to get yourself fixed up, and it's like... You know, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger petty bitches. You know, all these bitches be petty, and they keep wanting to bring up their shit to me so I can fight them, and it's just like, I'm trying not to, you know? I'm trying to look good in this fucking dress, and these bitches keep stealing my fucking heels, so now I gotta stand on my toes. Like, this line's roaring over here, this one's calmed down with the persons in the shadows. I don't know, that's one person, or multiple people, actually. Because obviously your guides are giving you shit, but there's someone back here with one pentacle just looking at you, hey! Hey! Hey, bitch! Hey! I got one too. Do you want my pentacle? It's a good pentacle. Meanwhile, your totem's like, don't you dare look at that motherfucker. I did not give you that unicorn snake um, hula hoop for you to be taking pentacles from shadow people. You know better. Don't touch that shit, you know? So the king of cups right here. Getting in tune, validating what emotions is and is not real. You're still projecting this bullshit over here, though. Yeah, you're trying to get out of this, like, shit mentality. And, you know, you're trying to get in your element. You might be going into, like, masculine mode, too. Everything's left you kind of bare. You feel like there was nothing to wait for. Even though you're looking for a reason to stick around. Are you trying to find? Look at you! Look at look at the hermit. Look at him. This is like shadow side. Look at how raggedy his shit is. Like you went through the desert and you came out an old man with a lantern. You got two dogs, so that's kind of cool. At least you got something. The moon's looking down at you. Like hey, I'm over here. You ever drink like Bailey's from an old shoot? You know, like one of those things. <laughs> Where it's just kind of like, you know, you're coming out of the wilderness, man. Like, you went through some heavy shit, and like... But you're looking for a reason to stick around. The fuck you looking for? <laughs> like, what is there to look for with people? You know, why are you looking for reasons to stick around with folk? Right? Alright, six pentacles. You got someone behind you watching you get your blessings. Some body, some things, some entity, somewhere, somehow, somewhere, a rainbow. That's you. You're getting that. You're on the 5D getting your shit, and now there are people in the background, just shadows, just being like, why I only get one, but she gets so many, right? Look at you. You're trying to escape in the fucking dark. That's the Six of Swords, too, but you're looking for a reason to stick around. Oh. Dude, you're trying to leave before disaster hits and you can't escape. Dude, I think you're a fuck Okay, look at this, right? Look it. Just 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 breathe it in your nose with me, right? Look at this. You're getting your blessings and there's someone back here. Yet, you're trying to escape before you can't escape. The, the shit's already on fire, you're in a... Ch but here's a chariot where, like, the chains aren't going to be broken, and you're going to get sucked down into the rest of the universe. Like, what the fuck is this? Are you trying to get away from people before they sabotage shit? People just fucking with your peace of mind, and making you feel like you don't know if you should go or not? Or are they trying to keep you from going? Are you trying to keep from leaving everything in a fucking mess like you know you can? Because I feel like with that fire back there, like, you're trying to take a nap and everyone's just wailing the fucking fire sirens expecting you to, like, do all the fucking work, you know? Like, everybody else is just booking it out before, like, they get disaster and leaving you behind to fix the fucking mess. So it's just kind of like, hmm... creepy you know this is not the most um best judgment call you know this is actually like very terrible um not, like and i'm not sure if it's for the six upright or for the six reverse right now but it's like dude i think that's a warning like just the just the six of pentacles with the rest of them right here i think that's a warning like get out before you can't get out or escape before it's too late kind of shit 
Four of Cups reversed. You're trying to come out of this bullshit. Even though it seems like motherfuckers are coming up with it. With this shit. Trying to come at you or something. I don't know. Like, I don't understand why you have so much conflict. Like, I'm agitated too. I can, fe I, I can feel that shit in my fucking bones. Like, people need to get the fuck away from me before I chop their head off. You know, off with their heads. I am the queen. You know, that, like, that. I don't know why, though. Something's just back there, just like, mm. I also feel like, you know, that, like, the DM you've been dealing with, like, that's just empty promises. And it's just like, you know what? I came out of all this shit. I think it's just time for me to go. But you're still looking for a reason to stay in a love proposal. So it's just kind of like, you know, which one are you doing? <coughs> Where are you trying to go? Who are you trying to escape from? Where does that highway go? Whose house is this? Where are my car keys? And you may ask yourself... Ba -da -da -ba -da 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 I'm sorry, I just totally had a 80s song. I don't know what that song is. What is that? Like, I actually have a... um. Hold on. Like, because I actually have a picture <laughs> that, like, will explain. It's like a weird 80s song. <clears throat> and I wish I could just, like, recall it immediately, but I got the memory of a goldfish, so, you know. I know, like, I better not have deleted that picture. I'll be so upset with myself. No, but I kept the one with a bitch farting. That makes sense. <laughs> That's just me. Oh, I gotta find this because I know what I'm talking about. Oh no, I might have got rid of it. Damn it. Yeah, I think I got rid of it. I think I know where it is though. Hold on. Because, like, it'll be easier if you know what song I'm actually mentioning or whatever. I think I still got it. Because it was like a really awesome fucking picture. No, I don't. God damn it. Well, I don't know. It's some 80s song, like something about life or whatever. And it's like, you may ask yourself, where does that highway go? And you may ask yourself, what the hell happened to my house or some shit? It's just weird. Like, I can't explain what the song is. I did have a picture of a chart of it, I just don't know what the fuck happened. That makes me sad, but yeah. I feel like you're kind of going through this motions of asking yourself, like, where does this highway go? Whose house is this? What the fuck is up with my husband or wife? What am I fucking doing with my life right now? It's like, as the days go by... I'm trying to get away from the fiery bullshit. It's just making you sad and you're done with it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, okay, that, all right, okay, all right. Yeah. This is like when the universe cut him off. And now you're basically in the dark about everything. Sure, you're sad about it. You're still having a hard time getting over it. But God damn it, you're going to breathe in, breathe out, and just be like, I'm too good to be worrying about this. You know, like, that's how I like the, like, this Queen of Wands in this deck. Like, she just breathes in, breathes out, doesn't open her eyes, uses her intuition and her mind, her um, sixth sense to figure things out whether she'll beat a bitch or not, you know, but she's very powerful in this. I, I feel like she just tries to calm herself down all the time with deep breaths before doing anything because she knows she will explode. I think you're trying to do that. I think you're trying to, um, keep yourself calm with this five of wands shit, right? Because you've already got shit going on in your head with all the other stuff you've been dealing with, especially the past three years. Okay. What you're fighting with? Um, could be greedy people. Uh, they could be. I, I, this is, usually, I say when she's reversed, that's like karmic trying to be you. But you know, I don't know. It could be karmic. It could be her with a gang of fucking boogaloo's who just want to fucking like help her, like start shit. Okay, yeah, like all right, all right, all right. One more. Okay, yeah, so, like, this is karmic, okay? Like, she's still 
might just want to beat your ass still, but the problem is, like, you know, no one's helping her. Like, she's got all these sticks prepared, she's just like, I'm waiting for these people to come in. Nobody's there. <laughs> like, it isn't even an energy of giving up, it's just an energy of, like, ugh. And now a new cycle is beginning. I feel like she's still trying to get people against you. Maybe people getting to look at you like you're her all of a sudden. Because that is possible. She is crazy after all. No offense, Karmix, but you kind of are. Not that we're any saner, but you know. <laughs> like, even we have limits, you know? But this is like the end of a cycle. A new cycle is beginning with all of this. Like, if these people left you nettled... That shit's gonna be done and over with. Like, I, I feel like you don't even wanna, like, fucking engage them. And I feel like that's what's getting to them, because it's like, this is, like, the Queen of Pentacles right here, facing, very demanding, um, could be an unfaithful spouse, could be, like, somebody who's just expecting more than what they will deliver. Uh, people could be expecting more from you than what you're willing to give and pissing them off, and that's why they wanna come in looking for a fight, but you're not looking for a fight. And they aren't really going to find one with you. And I feel like because you're not looking for a fight or even going to engage with these motherfuckers, like, yeah, it's going to start a new cycle immediately. Or, this could be karma of what goes around comes around, you know? Because these because these people don't know. Like, you're up here taking a breath. These people down here are all in conflict trying to make you lose your shit a little bit, I think. Whether they... Like, I don't know if they... I'm not sure if they know that or not, but whatever. Um, Five of Swords reversed that betrayal that's been on your brain still. You haven't let it go yet. You know, you're still observing it though. You're still just like, mm, I don't want to get zapped by lightning. You know, lightning doesn't strike twice; it strikes multiple times, and I'm not about to go past two. You know. You realize this relationship that could have been was just nothing but a pipe dream. Um, you do want to reach out and communicate or even switch one masculine for another, which a lot of us are going to be doing. Whether it's now, 20 years from now, really doesn't matter. Someone's going to, like, come in. It just takes time. Like, that bird back there is, like, freedom and shit. You know. You're willing to give your cub out, but you want justice, the fairness, the everything, which is weird, because, you know, well, Libra and Virgo really don't deal with fairness as much as justice, you know. Um, sure, you're watching snakes in your yard, but you're still on the lookout for anybody. I mean, like, you do realize that you don't match up. You don't fit. Like, there's an angel, a bird, and a lion. One of y'all do not... One of these shapes is not like the other. And now you're sitting here watching snakes in your fucking house, and I think it's agitating you. And it's like, you're not meaning to miss snakes, but because you're agitated by this whole, like, you know, not being the same, not uh, not the same shape as the rest of them, that you're kind of missing some. But you're picking that up. Very, very quickly. And you're trying to move away from that shit, right? Because you already know, these motherfuckers will fuck you up and fuck your flow up, too. And that's why you're trying to, um get away from them before they try to get a fight going with you because you already know that like coming off your throne right over here not taking deep breaths will fuck you in the ass quicker than these people will right one more please yeah it's just kind of like you know you're okay you're putting up a facade of something or realizing that some sort of illusion that's visible is not being taken down like I don't want this again I already know what this is I will strike it dead um I think you're seeing people for who they really are Divine Feminines. A lot more than what you were aware of. It's like, you know... If, if you aren't aware, then you're faking shit somewhere along the way.
Or you're asking, no, 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 no. I think you feel like communicating whatever issues or pipe dreams or whatever it is with this person, it's not going to make them do shit. It's like if you try dealing with this divine masculine right here, the facade's not going to come down and you'll recognize that shit really quick. So it's just kind of like, you know, looking back on things, realizing things and realizing, you know, this illusion never came down. And it was, I didn't need to because I could see right the fuck through it. I could see the mask on top of it. It's right fucking there. I got heat rashes all over the back of my legs because I end up like sitting cross-legged all day, every day. And it's like, mm, I need, I need comfort. <laughs> okay, this Ace of Wands. Nothing starting, nothing didn't begin. Something is not happening. I still don't understand this whole looking for a reason to stick around, though. Because that's usually what the Six of Swords means. Like, are you trying to stick around and see if everything calms down? Around you? Or something? Uh, the Fates and the Gods said fucking no. They were just like, no, nope, this shit is not happening. No. Whatever did not start for y'all, there was a reason for it. It wasn't time, or something just wasn't working right. Yeah, it's like, unfairness has just made you walk away, and now you don't know if you can trust... Like, you'll take a bird down. Like, I'm the only bird up in these mountains. How dare you have wings? Like, I don't even get wings with my pad, man. How dare you bring up that sacrilege to my mountains, you know? Like, you want truth, you're just not sure which truth you actually want. Or you're not sure if there is truth in what others are bringing you. Because it's just kind of like, you know, oh, well, the last time I let a motherfucker in, you know, I almost went and Actually, I did go insane, but I came back from that almost. I'm not as insane as I was, but I'm still fucking crazy. I will still, I will still take a knife and cut a bitch. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you know? But the fate said, no, this isn't going to happen. No, 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 no. Um, no. Because you still feel like you're stuck. And you still feel like you're stuck, but you're not. It's like, um, how can I put it to where it's like, all right. Let's say you're at work, right? You're working like a 14 hour shift and he's just like, I just want to go the fuck home. Not realizing you were supposed to be off the clock two hours ago, but nobody fucking told you. You're supposed to watch the clock yourself. And the clock in front of you is two hours earlier. So you don't even realize it until you look at your phone and be like, oh man, I could have gotten out of this two hours ago. Why didn't anybody tell me? Why the fuck am I still, I, I feel like that's what you're doing right here. It's like, you don't realize it's time to clock out and then you're sticking around two hours later, you know doing extra work you shouldn't be sticking around for some reason just a little bit you know I, I like but I don't think you see it just yet it's just like you feel like you're still stuck somewhere but you're not it's just like it's just not in front of you yet or you can't see it yet because you still feel bound and you still feel blind you might actually be blind to your escape and you might not even realize it just now but it's there it is there you need to get yourself out of whatever it is first before fate can come in and do whatever startup for you. I think that's what it is for a lot of us. We're all stuck because we still think we're stuck. Can I just say, real fucking quick, before we continue on with this, because, you know, I want to. My feminines. You know what a narcissist's best quality trait in controlling a person is? Making you think that they still fucking care to keep you stuck. Okay? This is, you just hear me out, right? Um, yes, you love them. Yes, you care for them. But let's be clear. It's just like, an, it's just like somebody who likes to chase women or men who are married, but don't really want the commitment. It's just like, I just wanted you because you said I couldn't have you. Not because, um... I actually want you. One of those things, right? It's a chase thing, and I feel like you guys are in the middle of being chased. <clears throat> and you're just like, how am I supposed to get the fuck out of this? Like, I don't want to be chased anymore. 
not realizing you already had the escape. You've just been two hours on the clock extra looking for a reason to stick around. You know? Even when you shouldn't be. Even though you already know you're supposed to leave. This is a warning. This is particularly as a warning. If you keep getting your blessings in the same place that you've been at, without finding some sort of escape, shit might go whack and people will probably start fucking with you. I think people are already, people are already fucking with me. You know? Yeah. You, you need to leave in the dead of fucking night when these people think they won against you. That's what you need to do. Lay down them swords. Don't let them know you have the other three, because this is five and that's eight. You have the other three. This motherfucker thinks you only had five and took three of them from you. You left your other two. And now... You're running away with your other three. Take those three. They may be heartbreak, but, the, but, the, but you'll be able to stab the next three people who try to take your swords from you, damn it. Um, strength! Could be Leo, right? Also up here, whatever. Um, you are holding yourself back. Restrictions, you know. Um, possibly from shit offers, or maybe you know there's something you can't offer people. You might be restricting yourself from offering... <laughs> okay, let me, like, pull some more. Because that just kind of made me, like, whatever I, yeah. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> No, you're not. Okay, yeah, I can see what you're restricting yourself from. Um, you're keeping yourself out of fucking trouble is what you're doing, Divine Feminines. Like, you are restricting yourself with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles, to me, is an idiot who doesn't offer anything good. I feel like, you know, it'd be idiotic to engage with these people who are trying to come after you, because you know that it's going to cause, like, a lack of a resurrection, and people are going to be against you. Hardcore. Which I feel like is what's going on within your brain. That's why you're trying to breathe in and breathe out. Because it's just like, I wish someone would tell me to get more bacon for them. I wish someone would ask me what the fuck time it is. It's time for you to get a watch. <laughs> That's what time it is to get you. Like, I feel like, like you're agitated for some reason. I feel like you think that things are not fair. And that, like, you know... You know that if you start something, shit's gonna go down. I think you know this already. Secrets. There's some shit you don't know. Things you need to recover from when it comes to those secrets, right? You might make a judgment call about a group of... Okay, like, you're making a judgment call about a group of people. These motherfuckers, I think. The ones who you're kind of quarreling with, but, I, but I'm pretty sure it's all in your head, too. In a sense. Not like a bad way, but I feel like, you know, there's something going on here. Um, these people make you feel stagnant, and you're trying to figure out what to do about it. Like, it, it, like it, it's like you're mourning. Like, this motherfucker's already gasket. Like, he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. You're trying to resurrect something and it's not working for you. And now you're all sad about it. Which just sucks. Because I know what it is and I'm sorry. But it's like... Mm. Breathe in. Breathe out. You know? Remember, everything around you is kind of shitty when it comes to like whoever it is you're working with. So you have to be really, really, really decisive about how you're going to handle things, you know? Bad offers. Yeah, don't accept... Yeah, no, no, no. Don't accept shit from nobody. They're going to make it look fair, but... It, okay, whatever you do, do not start anything. Well, it, particularly since, like, the Mercury's retrograde coming up, don't start anything particularly important on the 7th or the 8th. I'm just, like, especially the 7th. Don't start anything. If people try to come up to you being like, oh, you should help us out, it's fair. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it, because they're looking for handouts from you. Somebody's, like, people, I, like, is somebody wanting something from you? Because, you know, the dude in red is the devil. <laughs> he looks good, but it's like, mm, do you really want to be back in this again? That's what, I, that's what I'm telling you. And this offer is going straight to down here. So I don't know. But you Divine Feminines, be careful. I'll see you on the flip side.
right? Take it easy. Bye-bye.